everybody. Just a little brief video today. I have a small favour to ask. It's not for myself, really. But if you own an interesting, unusual or exciting car, I'd just like you to go out there and take it for a drive. Now, it doesn't have to be a fancy supercar, it doesn't have to be expensive, but anything that's a little bit interesting, a little bit unusual, just get out there, just give it a drive. Maybe you do all the time, maybe you do already, in which case, thank you very much. But for those who don't, use this video as a prompt. Get in there, take your car for a drive, take it out, take it on a road that you enjoy and that you love driving, and then do me a real big favour. Drive it back through town, drive it back where everyone can see it, and you're not doing it to show off. You're doing it to inspire people. Look, everyone's a winner when you drive that. Now, I understand, I appreciate that there's some people out there that see the car as the devil, basically. And hopefully, if you're watching this video, you're not one of those people. But you see, the cars are important. Sir William Lyons once said that the car is the closest we've ever come to creating something which is alive. And I can't help but agree with that sentiment. They are absolutely wonderful, magical things when done right. And it's no secret that we are facing a bit of a crisis at the moment. Fewer and fewer young people are learning to drive through a combination of, well, a lack of motivation and it being damn expensive. And we need people to be able to drive. We need people to be interested in cars. And it's not just for the purpose of getting them from A to B. If you inspire a love of cars, you can inspire all sorts of passions. Someone that loves cars could go on to design something great. They can design a, a beautiful opera house inspired by the curves of a wonderful Ferrari that they loved as a teenager. Someone that loves cars could go on to revolutionise the way we get from A to B, make the planet better, safer and cleaner. Somebody that loves cars could drive an ambulance. They could save a life. Somebody that loves cars could become a sports person. They could become a spokesman for an important cause, a charity. They could just be someone you aspire to be. Cars mean so many different things to different people. And that's one of the reasons that I don't really have any particular type of car that I feature on the channel. I drive everything from old bangers to hypercars. And I find a sort of joy in all of them. Cars can inspire friendships. So many of the people that I know and that I speak to, I've met those people through cars, through YouTube, through going on piston heads runs, all that sort of stuff. It's a very social tool. People think of the car as something incredibly antisocial, and I think that's only the case <laughs> when it's done wrong. Otherwise, a car is a magnificent thing. I still have wonderful memories of you know, being a small lad when seeing a fancy car was the highlight of my day. got a nice car out there you got a kid that wants to sit in it like hose them down let them sit in it what's the harm you can clean it it's fine cars are great okay and the only way they're going to stick around is if we make sure that the generation after us share our passion for them and the seed of that passion is planted when one day they're out for a walk and they see this magnificent beautiful thing going past maybe they hear it first and they go, you know what, one day, one day I want one of those. Maybe they don't even have to like driving that much, but to them, owning that car could be the thing that motivates them to be successful. And certainly if you enjoy classic cars, using the car is good for the car. Perhaps if it's been a couple of months now since you've taken it out and enjoyed it, it's probably about time that you remember why you fell in love with that car yourself. So please, all I'm asking is take your car out, have a drive, you'll enjoy it, your car will thank you, and maybe, just maybe, in the process, you'll create another car lover. That's all for me. Have a nice day.
the first of my YouTube videos, of which 